All right, what's up, guys? I wanted to walk you through the the, the steps to bring in our high-level uh, snapshot for your agency. So I think the best place to start is just to kind of log into high-level and kind of show you what's in place. Because at this point, what we have to, to push through into your account is the pipeline, which is mission critical, the appointment funnel, um, which is kind of like apply for your appointment, move it to the calendar, all the calendar settings, um, and then the, the appointment reminders that go along with that, the campaign if they're qualified or not qualified, um, and then the, the hot lead follow-up, which I think is really everything that we've outlined for you in the appointment machine. How do we get people to show up to our appointments, ex excited, pre-positioned to buy? Uh, and I'm really pumped that we have that built into high level at this point um, and something that you can just kind of pop right in and, and run with without having to figure it out and kind of configure it all yourself. So I, I just want to real quick, high level, show you kind of what the setup is. That way you see what you're what you're getting here. So by going to opportunities, basically what we have is um, somebody applies for a strategy session and you can choose to do the application process or not. Somebody applies for strategy session, they drop here. Um, when they schedule into the calendar, they, they go here. Um, once the meeting is conducted, it goes here. And then of course, um, you know, once they've met and they said they've interested and they want the hot lead follow-up or they want a proposal, you move them over over here. So the beauty of this is it's a very visual pipeline process. Spent a lot of time as I was setting high level up, like what is the right flow? You don't want to create too many steps. You don't want to create too little steps, but at the same time, you want to make sure um, you know, you want to make sure you get something that you can track and very visually see what's in play, what's working, what's not. Um, and then, of course, there's campaigns to drive all of this stuff. So um, I'll just show you. So this is, shouldn't be new to you as a member, right? I, I walked you guys through this. It's in the members area, this whole um, appointment funnel, right? We want them to qualify themselves, get to our calendar, and then get a sequence of things that, that follow up with them um, once they schedule. Um, a sequence to kind of sh follow up with them if they schedule and they don't show up, right? And then a sequence of events if they if they apply and they're qualified and they don't book, right? Um, there's something powerful about having them fill out this application process in the front end to, to not waste your time with people that are dead ends and to deal with people that are pretty serious about doing something in their, in their business. So in addition to the high level uh, settings, I'm also giving you the ClickFunnels uh, share link. So if you know, for now, if you want to pull in this this page, the thank you page, that whole process, it's all within the document, right? So we've got the high level snapshot, which gives you these campaigns with the emails and the text automation. Uh, I hope you can hear the excitement in my voice because I'm pretty I'm pretty pumped up about this, uh, as well as the um, the actual you know ClickFunnels things that you can pull right into right into ClickFunnels and swipe and deploy this liquidity split. So. Um, that's the page. They fill this out. Um, that triggers the scheduled campaign uh, process. This whole thing, this application, the calendar, and the campaigns that happen to, to follow everything up um, is all built within high level at this point. And this this count, this um, survey form is um, just tremendous. So before I go too deep into the actual campaigns and what these campaigns look like, uh, I want this video to be about all right, Josh, just tell me how to bring it in, right? So there's some step-by-step -step instructions here. I don't want to overcomplicate it, but ultimately what you'll do is you'll click this link, right? And this link will ask you if you want to bring it in to high level. So I'll just click it, assuming you've got an account, right? You click here. It asks you if you want to import it. You say yes, and then you can apply it to, to your account or you can go in and add it. The beauty of um, high level is you can add as many accounts as you want. So let's go, I, let's just say we created this test account. We go to settings. Um, we can go into, we can go into the, to the snapshot and then pull it in right there. Then your pipeline comes in, your calendar settings come in and everything flows in really, really nicely. So ultimately, the key thing that you need is this link right here. Um, there's other in, there's other how tos inside of high level. You know, just search snapshot. How to load a snapshot, right? It'll show you exactly what the steps are in case you click the link and it's unclear to you. Um, that's really that's really the key thing you need is this link, and it's going to pull our, our whole setup in. 
Now, there's some things that you need to get set up, and that's what these implementation steps are, right? This isn't going to set up your mail gun, which is the, what sends out your emails. It's not going to set up your uh, Twilio, Trello settings. Twilio. It's not going to set up your Twilio settings, which is what pushes the text messages out. Um, so just make sure you get that figured out. So really, the way I want you to think about this is in the same order at which um, these campaigns um, these cam campaigns flow, right? The, the very first thing you've got to think about is your is your pipeline, right? You got to make sure that that pipeline configuration makes sense. And so if we go in here into settings, pipelines, I've created a sales pipeline for you. This is going to be prospect, scheduled, conducted, and hot lead follow up. And the reason it's set like that, so you can visually see where are people in this flow without creating too many steps. If you create too many steps, it becomes overwhelming and the data ceases to make sense and be valuable. Um, and if you make too few steps, you, you lose things in the, in the cracks. The other thing is, as you move people from one step to the next, you can trigger automation. Uh, so once someone schedules, you can remove them from the, hey, let's get you scheduled campaign. Um, and, and trigger another campaign that gets them to show up for the, for the strategy session. If somebody doesn't show up, you can trigger uh, automation to chase them back. And then if they meet and they say they're interested and you move them to hot lead follow-up, you can trigger um, all of the communication that goes with that. Hey, thanks for your time. It was great talking with you. Here are the next steps and all of those emails and texts that I've given you in the ultimate, um, ultimate agency funnel. So again, I'm really excited to have this all flushed out and ready to, to rock and roll. So you want to look at that first. And the next thing you want to look at is your is your calendar settings. Because the calendar really is um, the, the calendar really is what drives uh, the appointment setting and the the follow-up. And I, I will tell you, I'm a I was a big time Calendly user, so I was pretty hesitant to say, look, I've already used Calendly, that's a best in class tool. I'm not going to put a secondary tool in place to replace my Calendly account. This is where people schedule. It needs to be best in class. Um, I need to make sure that it automatically sent um, appointment room, like the, the Google Calendar invite. I need to make sure that it uh, had the ability to set an override on the thank you page. I need to make sure it had the ability to, um, you know, to put scripts and tracking scripts in as needed. And it checked all the boxes. Literally does everything that Calendly does only in one centralized platform. So you're not jumping to Calendly to see what's going on. You have it all right here within within high level. So if I hit edit here, there's a couple things you absolutely must do. And these are in your setup instructions, but I, I just thought I would hit them real quick. Uh, first is you gotta you gotta sync this to your own Gmail calendar, right? It's gonna say, okay, what's your availability? Whatever you've already got blocked off in Google Calendar it won't show as available on your appointment uh, scheduling thing. So whether it's you or a sales rep, you gotta get that dialed in. Um, so you, you do that by going down here and you hit calendar sync, you choose it. Um, there's another step. So let me just show you, you go settings, um, integrations, Google, and you're gonna connect. Assuming you're already logged in on Gmail, it's gonna connect, it'll say, okay, is this the calendar you wanna take it from? And then you're good to go on that front. So that, that will automatically now start taking into account what you've already got blocked out in your existing calendar. Um, how are you going to conduct the meeting? Are you going to call the person or are you going to do a Zoom meeting or are you going to do a go-to meeting? Right? There's a couple different ways you can conduct these. Um, I prefer a go-to meeting or Zoom just because that means you can show your screen. You can show, hey, here's your website. Here's what's wrong. Here's how we're going to help. Like I teach you in the consultative sales process. But um, like this, you can have a, a set uh, meeting that you use every single time and you just put that in say go here for the meeting and all of your emails and communication are reminding them to go log in to that place at the time that it's going to happen so you could do that do that with zoom you could do that with GoToMeeting, or you could just say hey i'm going to call you on the number provided right these are all ways to do it i prefer to have a set scheduled meeting link um some some settings here you can play with you know how many slots do you want to take per day three five ten um, or you can leave it wide open. I prefer to leave it wide open. That's why I made it like this in a snapshot. Um, how much time do you want to get in advance? Like, do you want them to be able to schedule 10 minutes from now? Do you want them to have to, to give you a day so you can do your due diligence and do your prep? Um, I have it set up for two hours. Christian's gotten pretty good at being able to pull up the ranking report, the website, um, the SEM rush report, and really just 
on the fly, be, be prepared to take our, our prospects through a consultative sales process. So that, that's up to you. Um, how far in advance can they book? Um, do you only want them to be able to book within three days? Do you want to give them the ability to book way out in advance? I left it open at two weeks. I find sometimes if you set it too short, like three days, um, and it's a Friday, and they wanted to book Saturday, Sunday, Monday, they can't get you. So I would say seven to 10 days really works pretty well because then you're covering all your basis for weekends and things like that. Um, where your alerts are gonna go, like these are all settings you have to kind of dial in. Is it gonna go to you? Is it gonna go to you and, a, and a, an administrator? Um, what's the thank you page gonna be? And this is mission critical. That's why it's, this is one of those things that's like highlighted here. Make sure you override your thank you page. So that's this right here. Where do you want them to go after they schedule? And it absolutely cannot, should not be the, the default message, you're confirmed. This is the opportunity, and we outline this a lot in the, um, the appointment machine. We wanna really get them excited. Okay, look, you're scheduled. This is a game change thing that you've decided to do. Um, you know, Here's what you gotta do next. Like block this on your calendar, watch some of the testimonials below, and get them started to come pre-positioned to buy and to show up for that meeting. So here's the confirmation page. Uh, again, this is a ClickFunnels page. You can pull right into your account if you have ClickFunnels or you can just kind of swipe the concept. But um, this is the thank you page. You need to have a page like this that is um, you know, on your domain so that you can go back and redirect prospects to a page like that. Um, you, you've already got the custom form, but you wanna look at this form and make sure that it's congruent. Um, the way we've got it set up, there's an application on the front end where we gather you know, where they're based, what services they provide, how much revenue they make, um, how much they're advertising and spending in advertising. And then this form is to gather the key de details. What's their cell phone number? What's their name? What's their email address, right? And these are all the things they see as they pick a time date and they lock it in uh, to your calendar. So you wanna make sure you get all that set up. And then you wanna, you know, you wanna look at your availability. Are you available? nine to five, look, if you don't have a lot of strategy sessions going on and you need to get some client momentum, I would say block out you know, a, you know, nine to five every single day. Um, Cause it's, these are people that are booking in with you really excited, they wanna talk about how you can help. Most important thing you can do in your business is conduct strategy sessions day in and day out because that's what drives sales, that's what drives revenue growth within your business. But you can, you can choose your times, like uh, Christian, you know, he doesn't like to have to worry about somebody booking in during lunch. So he kind of creates a little window there between 12.30 and 1. So he can grab lunch. He can, you know, do whatever he wants to do. Oh, let's see. So those are your calendar settings. Uh, make sure you get this link to the calendar provider dialed in. Uh, I like to use two-way um, setting here. Basically, two-way means when they schedule, it pushes it to, to Google Calendar. If somebody scheduled something with you through Google Calendar, it'll also pull that in to your high level with the name, contact details of the person, uh, useful to have, and it also kind of shows you within high level what your total calendar looks like, not just what you have sales appointment wise. And it shows it in a different color, which is kind of which is kind of nice. So that's, that's mission critical. Uh, that's the first piece, right? We've got our pipeline figured out. Uh, we've got our calendar dialed in. And you know, as you do this, you want to test it. Like, what does this look like? How does it look? So I'll just show you to get to your calendar link. You go into settings, you go to calendar, you hit this link, and then you can see, okay, this is what my calendar looks like. And you can kind of test it out. Uh, right here, you get your appointment widget. And this is what you would embed on the, on the thank you page, right? So if you've got a custom thank you page where it says, uh, or... On the scheduling page, this is what you would embed, as opposed to giving them the naked link to the um, to the schedule to the schedule button. And then, if you want to see what that custom form looks like, if you go up here into marketing and you go to form builder, this is the appointment form that's in place. Um, if you need to gather more details for your niche, some additional things you might want to add that here: so name, company name, email, cell phone number, right? Um, you could I don't know what else you might want to ask, but as they're scheduling, these are the, the, the details that, that your system's gonna gather for you. Let's see, let's see. So that's the review the custom form and update it. Um, and then you wanna configure your campaigns. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty, I mean, th this, is, this is good stuff. This is really, really good stuff that will make you sell more and will um, 
kind of change the way you interact with your prospects. So let's go into campaigns. Um, this is what we have now. Right now it's focused just on the sales process. We've got applied, but didn't schedule, right? So I'll talk about that pre-application process, where that is, how it's built. Um, the appointment confirmation, so let's get them to actually show up. The um, no-show, which means it happens, right? They scheduled, you called them, or you showed up for the meeting, they weren't there. You need to have a strategy to assertively follow up with those people and get them back onto your calendar. And then the hot lead follow -up. So once they meet and they say they're interested and you didn't get the first call close, um, you know, where you've got a sequence of emails that follows up with them diligently and professionally after that. So let's start with the, let's start with the um, appointment confirmation. So they've scheduled the appointment with you. I'm gonna high level explain to you what these um, campaign settings are and how you, how you kind of trigger this, how you make this work. work. The first thing you have to do with every single campaign is you got to go into that tab up here. Otherwise, none of your emails will go out. None of your text messages will go out. Uh, you have to go up here and you have to override this email. Who's it coming from? It's going to come from your email address. And then how do you want it to display on the email? So, and this, I mean, don't sleep on the, on the way this looks, right? This name here, as it displays, you know, Eric Clausen, um, is because that setting is there. If you don't set that correctly, uh, I've seen a lot of ums on this video, I apologize guys. If you don't set that name dash company name, it's gonna just come in like this, or just Josh, and that doesn't look professional. You like spend a couple seconds, dial in first name plus company name, I think works really well. Uh, lead value, so how much is this client worth to you? Ours are on average 24.90 per month. Yours might be whatever, three grand, might be 1500. Good to know, good to have that in place. Uh, 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 tag, leave the tags just like I have. That way you can track them throughout tagging if you wanted to. Allow multiple. This means somebody could schedule with you a couple times, right? And that, I think that's fine. Uh, stop on response. It's really important that this remain off because this is an appointment confirmation sequence. If they replied somewhere along the way, like the first email, the text message say, hey, I see you scheduled. I'm excited about meeting with you. And they write back, me too. If you have that on, it will remove them from the campaign. They won't get any of the reminders, right? So make sure that that toggle is set to stop on response, no. And then we've got, so that's that's what you do. You wanna look at that for every one of your campaigns. Make sure that those are correct, that it's sending from you and not from me. And then you wanna look at the at the messaging. And, and look, this is a great baseline. We've, sell, we've sold almost $10 million worth of recurring agency business services. Of course, some people come, some people go over the years. This is pretty dial, it's pretty good, but you know, innovate. Like think about how can I make this better? How can I improve it? And kind of tweak this messaging to make sure it fits for you. So here's the, uh, the first meeting confirmation, our meeting confirmed. Josh, congratulations on scheduling your session. Please take a minute to watch the short video. And so this would be a link back to that strategy session confirmation page. Again, we want them to watch the video. We want them to see the case study. We want them to be excited about what's gonna happen in the meeting. You know, if it's not going to be you, you don't want to let them know it's going to be somebody else. But if, if it is going to be someone else, you should probably keep that messaging and tweak it. Update your signature so that it looks nice and professional. Um, send yourself a test just to see how the email works. Make sure that your mail gun setting is, is pushing it through correctly. I'm not going to read all of these, but, you know, as you go through, Josh, I see that you scheduled your lead flow acceleration. This is Christian, by the way, plumbing and HVAC SEO. I look forward to meeting with you. Please save this number, right? So, Email, SMS, SMS, email, SMS, email. These are like all leading to the to the date. So just from a from a logic perspective, the way it works is anything that's like after that's from the point at which they scheduled or the point at which they you know entered that campaign. Before is going to be before the trigger date, which is our appointment. So these are all emails that you can set to reverse. Like, okay, this is gonna happen one day before. This is gonna happen 12 hours before. This is gonna happen an hour before. This is gonna happen one minute before. It's like, hey, look, we're about to start. Make sure you go log in on that join link. So this, you gotta make sure these things match your login links. They match uh, your contact details, you know, basic stuff. But um, one thing I was unclear about that I, I, I was able to get clarity on is, you know, these settings are, are from the last step in the sequence, not when they join. So this happens immediately, this happens two minutes after that, this happens one minute after that. So you don't wanna be thinking, okay, 
cumulatively, what was the difference? It's it's how much time do you want to delay between this step and the and this step before. So this this is going to pull right into your campaign, um, just like this. That's the appointment confirmations. Then you've got your no show, and this is important, and it's really great to have something like this. Again, go into your settings, make sure it's emailing from you, and then come down here and. Um, look at the messages. Hey, is everything okay? You missed your strategy session. Hey, what happened? We're trying to get them to reply. Hey, did you want to go ahead and reschedule? Obviously, make sure that you've got um, the link to your reschedule link in here and not my reschedule link. Otherwise, people are going to be randomly showing up on my calendar, which wouldn't, uh, which wouldn't necessarily be ideal. So that's the no-show campaign. And then we've got our hot lead follow-up campaign, which I'm pretty excited about. This is like they met, they said they're excited. You're gonna send a custom email with your proposal. Hey, thanks so much for your time. Like we discussed, this whole thing's gonna do for you an attached proposal for your review. You could actually add that as the first step in this if it's the same every single time. What we find in our end is, is Christian does tend to customize that a little bit based on what they said. And so that first one we have manually sent by Christian, and then a day later, it kind of piggybacks off that. Hey, I wanted to follow up to go to a conversation yesterday. I'm real excited about working within the Tampa area. Here are a few testimonies I thought you might want to look at, right? And of course, you know, look, you know, I look forward to talking with you soon. Feel confident we can help you get better results. Text message: Hey, it was very connected with you. I just sent you some testimonials. Shoot me your quick reply to confirm that you got the email and the proposal I sent yesterday, right? Just kind of moving the conversation along. Um, some of this stuff you don't have. You might have to build it yourself. I uh, hope this message reaches you well. Well, it's part of my effort to provide you with every piece of information you need. I need. I wanted to show you a video that explains you know, how, how our program works, right? And this links them off to, to case studies. Also know that in ours, we have visuals for this stuff. So you can absolutely, you know, do a, uh, an image and you should of a visual representation of that. So um, like if I go to my desktop here and I try and find a graphic that I could pop in, um, you want to have a, a, like a, An image like that. Like, well, ideally, it looks like a play button. Let's see if that works. And then, you know, resize it so it looks good on mobile. You can see the mobile editor over here. So, yeah, it, it comes in your snapshot empty. You want to put a visual, right? You want to use visuals for, for things you're saying, go watch this video, etc more likely they're going to click it in that scenario. Um, so I'm going to save that. I think that will update to your guys' a snapshot now. No, it won't. You won't see that. So you got to add the, the images yourself. Um, and, you know, all the way down the line to SMS, hey, what's going on? Hey, let's 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 discuss next steps. So that's the, the hot lead follow-up. Um, and so those are the three things. Really, all of you are going to use schedule the appointment, didn't show up, hot lead follow-up. Day in and day out. This is like just cranking on it. Now, be aware there's um, there's triggers that are set up, and you need to look at these triggers. You need to understand these triggers. Um, somebody schedules their strategy session. You need to have this trigger enabled to say, okay, somebody schedule an appointment on my agency calendar, whatever the name of the calendar is that you're using. Their status is confirmed, and when that happens, what do we want to have happen? Well. We want to add it to the campaign appointment confirmation. Uh, we want to create an opportunity which will add them to our pipeline, right, as a scheduled strategy session and put a value associated with it. We want to execute a webhook. I'll talk more about webhooks in another video. I don't want this to be too long. Um, I personally want to have this hit my Infusionsoft campaign account as well just as a backup and I've got all kinds of other marketing happening in Infusionsoft and so I need to tag that they scheduled so that it removes them from some of the campaigns which are pushing them towards appointment on that front um, and then I like to have a centralized Google Sheet that tracks all my activity and I'll do a follow-up video about this but let me just show you what it is so you know when I'm talking about webhooks webhooks hit uh, Zapier um, and then they push to Google Sheets which give us an, even another layer of tracking capability. So what I'm doing is every time somebody applies through our web form, oops, that's not one, that's not the one I wanted. Um, oh, 
Okay, so every time somebody applies, it flows here to the application sheet, no manual keying, this is like zapped right in through a webhook. And then all of our appointments, I wanna be able to see who's scheduled, what date, and what's the outcome. So I can really easily see some, some basic stuff. Who's not showing up? Why aren't they showing up? Who was qualified? Why weren't they qualified? That type of stuff. And then just have a roll-up sheet. How many strategy sessions did we get? How many did we close? What's our close rate for the month, et cetera? I'm not going to go too deep on that. But just know you know, you can do some really cool stuff with these webhooks. And you need to know about the webhooks. And you need to take advantage of it. Um, and so these are some of the webhooks that are, that are for the scheduled piece. Um, let's see. Applied for strategy session. This goes straight to Google Sheets. Don't you guys don't have access to my Google Sheet on this? Dude. No, okay. <laughs> um, no show, right? So appointment status, no show. So when you get when you look at your appointment calendar on the app or in the in the online you know, version, you can set the outcome. And if the status is changed to no show, we want to trigger. Add the campaign. No show strategy session. Look, if you don't set these triggers up. None of, the, none of the logic works. None of these follow-up campaigns are going to happen the way that they need to. Um, so we've got applied for strategy. I'm going to talk about that last. Um, hot lead follow-up. This one's important because it sends an email from here automatically, and you, you're going to need to update this. So pipeline stage is moved from, moved from sales pipeline to hot lead follow-up. So once we drag somebody in our pipeline, let's just go over here to opportunities. Once we drag someone to hot lead follow up, that's what's going to happen, right? It's going to trigger that. So it, it that's what that that webhook is telling us to do or what that uh, what that trigger is telling us to do. So once that happens, we want to send an email to to our mail house to send our hot lead follow up package. So this is the first step. You can't you don't want to put this in the campaign because it's going to someone other than your prospect. This is going to our mail house city blueprint in Wichita, Kansas. And it's like letting me know, okay, we got a new hot lead follow-up in play. And so this is, send them this, right? Which you guys have the basic foundation for this. Uh, this is our hot lead follow-up. So she gets, take this folder, print out the cover letter, burn the DVD, and put the book in there. And so in a couple days after that meeting, the prospect is going to get this in the mail. Right, so that's where we trigger that out to our mail house. Then we also want to add this to a campaign, right? And so the campaign is the hot lead follow up campaign, which again is the one that says, "Hey, thanks for your time. You know, look at our testimonials and our, and our results." So, suffice it to say, pay attention to your web webhooks. Know that you, you know, know that they're there. Understand why they're there, and make sure that you've got them set up correctly because a lot of stuff happens based on these webhooks. So. That should give you most of what you need in order to make this work. The last piece that, that we've got in place that I want to spend a couple seconds on is this application process, right? Which is, I'm like blown away that High Level has this built in. I was playing a separate software called um, Email Me Form for a very clunky version of this. But I love the fact that I could have multi-step form right on my ClickFunnels page. And um, I could route them based on logic, right? Route them based on what their responses were. So that's right here inside the survey builder. Um, and this is the name of the survey, Applied for Strategy Form. And you need, to, you, need to, you, know, you need to think about these questions and you need to make sure that they're congruent with what you need to know about your prospect to decide whether they're gonna be a fit for you or not. So do they run a roofing company? Do they run a dental office? You, know, you wanna ask that. Uh, company name, website address, uh, where they're based. So usually that's useful. Um, what do they need most help with? Leads, rankings, all of the above. How many technicians this might be? How many employees? It might be whatever. You know, this for us is useful, not so useful for you. Um, how much are you investing in online marketing and how much revenue do you do? And then, of course, their contact details. So this is a, um, a five, four slide thing. So then, you know, on our embed form, we hit it four, five times. And then based on logic, and this is like so cool to me, um, we can we can disqualify people. So if they say less than a thousand dollars per month in marketing, that's not our ideal client. We found our ideal client is spending you know twenty five hundred to five thousand plus per month in advertising, and you know the guy for a thousand dollars per month might meet with us, might be willing to talk, but 
probably wouldn't be the best fit, best use of our time. So we can send him to a different page. We can send them to a page that says, hey, thanks for applying. You know, you've heard, you've heard the spiel, right? Thanks for applying. It may not be a fit right now. Um, you know, our programs cost $2,500 per month, but if you're still interested, click the button below and we let them override that, that process. Uh, I'll add that to the click funnels as well now that I think about it. Um, but you can override based on logic. So you can make multiple of these things disqualify people. Just me, for me, that's, that's a disqualification, right? If it's just a one man shop, not a good fit, right? We want to deal with businesses that are running real businesses that are ready to go to the next level. Um, less than a thousand dollars per month that disqualifies. So if we look over here, I know I'm kind of breezing through this, but any one of these has custom uh, outcomes. And so disqualified, what do we want to have happen? So disqualified, that's there. And then we go to options. And this is important because if you use this form and you don't update this um, submission process, you're going to be landing people on my landing pages, which I don't necessarily want you to do. So over here, we want it to say, if they're qualified, let's take them straight to our, our booking link, right? This is the link where they can schedule in on our calendar. Um, if they're disqualified, let's take them over to this page, which is like a, hey, you don't qualify or, hey, our stuff's expensive. And at least kind of tell them the price in advance so we don't waste time with somebody that would never in a million years make that kind of investment. So amazing, whether you choose to use this piece or not is completely up to you, but I'm, I'm so excited that it's there. I think it's a game changer. I think the applications are, um, are numerous. And what's really cool is in your contact records, when somebody, when you go to their record, now you've got custom fields where you're not just getting name, email, phone number, you've got their company name, right? Their address, if, if, if you had that, I don't think you would get that. But over here in custom fields, obviously you wanna update this, you'll be able to quickly see what the answers to that form was. And that seems like a basic thing, but if you're using, you know, some other web form application to gather this information like email me form or survey gizmo or something like that you got to go over there and be like, what did they say that they're you know how many trucks how much revenue um and then you know you don't you don't really get a concise sense of what's going on with this you get it all right in one place and it's all there for you so i think what i intended to be a quick video just to kind of show you how to bring in your snapshot went probably much longer than it should have but now you've got a really good idea what you've got with this snapshot, right? And then how to bring it in. It's just a matter of you click this inside your account, it pulls in the pipeline, it pulls in the sales funnel, um, it pulls in the, the survey, it pulls in all of that stuff. And all you gotta do is go in and configure it. Follow these steps here to make sure you don't miss anything, right? Make sure that, um, you know, I'm not gonna say it all again, but it's all here in step-by-step, -step. test everything. So test your calendar, make sure it actually links, test the campaign, make sure the emails and the text messages go out, uh, modify and iterate, right? Make sure that you know, you're, you're improving this over time. You're really customizing it for your niche, you're customizing the messaging. Um, and then you've also got the ClickFunnels share link. So when you click this, if you've got a ClickFunnels account, or if you don't, it'll create like an account for you under my affiliate account. Um, when you click it, it will bring in these pages. So you've got a version that's um, like this with the web form. You've got a version that's just straight to calendar. And then you've got a version that um, is the thank you page. And I'll make sure that there's actually the version of uh, the page that is not qualified. So you don't have to rethink the, you know, reinvent the wheel there. If you want to redirect them to a not qualified video page, um, you can do that. So that's the, that's the scoop. Um, I think this is a game changer. This is why I was so excited about high level. What I was finding is I built all of this stuff in Infusionsoft and it made sense to me because I use Infusionsoft, I understand tags. And I, I, I was like, man, I want people to use it. So I put them all into copy paste Google Docs, right? And you guys have experienced like, okay, now I gotta figure out how to set up the campaign, how to do the triggers, how to copy and paste the emails in here. It's funny as people couldn't use it, right? It was like, okay, I get the idea, Josh. I gotta re-engineer this now in active campaign, or I've got to, you know, go hire a consultant to do this. Now, we can just push this right into your campaign with the emails and text messages and everything already there. So I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. Um, I'm excited about seeing you get this into play and get it into work. Um, if you have questions on this, let me know. Uh, again, this is a work in progress, right? So the, the, you might find typos. You might find things that, you know, don't work correctly. Let me know. Let's communicate. Let's make sure that this works for you. 
and, um, and we'll take it from there. All right, guys. Talk to you later.